impossible. What foul sorcery. Uh, a cursed witch. Even in death, you would thwart me. Good? What about... She's gone. Oh, she is, is she? <laughs> Be still, little puppet. You belong to me now. <laughs> Use the card. Don't you dare! Game over. Thank you, Cloud, for stopping her, for stopping me. Guess I really let all that genius crap go to my head, huh? After a while, losing became my worst nightmare. I'd do anything to win, and look where it got me. You are not to blame for this. Evil like that preys on our deepest, darkest fears and worms its way into our hearts. If you ever break free... You're the best because you worked your ass off. Not because you're a genius. Got it? <sighs> Got it. <sighs> well, on that note... I'd better get back to it. After all, there can only be one card queen. <laughs> so next time you want to throw down, you best come prepared. Right. <laughs> Later! All's well that ends well, I suppose. Thanks to you. <laughs> Couldn't have you dying on me just yet.
Till you try. Here. Cloud's all yours. I'll take care of Aerith after. Yes, ma'am. Earth sure does sleep a lot, huh? It's better this way. What? Why? Because of Cloud. He's still sick. Please. You gotta make Cloud get better. You gotta. I mean, I'd love to, but... You, uh... You said it's better for Earth to stay asleep because Cloud's sick. Why is that? Because she'll die if she wakes up. Oh, you think? What makes you say that? Uh. Promise not to tell? <sighs> when she wakes up, a scary man is gonna kill her. Cloud tries to save her, but he doesn't make it in time. He almost does, but he doesn't. 
She likes Cloud, so she's happy he came. Really, really happy. But... But... she dies. That's why you have to make Cloud better. If he's sick, he can't save Aerith. <sighs> Marlene, are you sure you didn't just have a bad dream? No. I saw it. Oh, okay. I did! <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you. With everything that's going on, how could I not? Okay. Just one question, if it's all right. Can you tell me what this scary man looked like? Please? His hair was long. And gray. Zack, did you see? They're blooming. Would you look at that? These were always Aerith's favorites. Do you think this means she's going to wake up? <sighs> Maybe. Can always hope. Hey, Elmira. I've got to go away for a bit. Need to talk to someone about Cloud. And who is this someone? A doctor? Well, he's, uh... <laughs> Close enough, I suppose. Well, hurry on back, okay? It's hard enough looking after these two with your help, but without it... Without you, I'd be a wreck. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going by bike. Shouldn't take long. Just keep an eye on them while I'm gone, okay? Oh, and if Aerith does wake up, please don't let her leave. <laughs> no promises. That girl snuck out more times than I can count. <laughs> Don't let her, please. I won't. Make sure that you're back by dinner.
I thought about what you said. Couldn't stop thinking about it, actually. About how it's up to each of us to find our own purpose in life. Because in Avalanche, I think I've found mine. We don't have a whole lot of time. So tonight's got to be the night. Do yourself a favor and steer clear of Reactor 6. <laughs> Take care, Biggs. No, I didn't... That's not what I meant! <clears throat> Gotta find Elmira. Those are some pillow marks. You must have been out like a light. You know, there's a showing of Loveless about to start. And I've got two tickets to it. We should go. Also, the Skywheel's running a special for couples, limited time only. For couples? As in... I'll leave that up to your imagination. It's more fun that way. What about the others? Forget about them. For now, anyway.
Good day, and well met, most esteemed. I shall eagerly await our next interaction. Are you here to see Lovelet? Congratulations. <laughs> Would you like to sing it? Me?
Damn. She was a star. Huh? 